Hello everyone, this is Maureen and welcome back to another episode of Amigurumi Wednesdays here on My Crochet Story. First I want to say thank you to all of you for taking just a few minutes to watch this little video to see what it is I'm up to with my Amigurumis and if you're new to my channel, think about subscribing and looking for the bell with the little hugs on either side so that you don't miss any content that I put up. I mean, I do have quite a bit and on different things, so there might be something that you can find that you'd like to watch every once in a while, if not every time I put something up. All right, so let's talk about what I'm working on for Amigurumi Wednesdays. Now, remember back I don't know, about December or so, I think, I found this book that had um, <clears throat> Amigurumis for our zodiac signs. Well, I completed Aquarius, which was from latter part of the, um, let's see, no, from the middle of uh, January to the middle of February, because my daughter's birthday was in January. Excuse me. Well, now I've moved on to Pisces. So, let me tell you about Pisces. Like fish in gentle water, Pisces people love to bask in a world of myths, fantasies, and dreams. Their imagination knows no limits, so they are one of the most naturally creative signs of the zodiac and the best of storytellers. Hmm. We must thank their ruling planet, Neptune, for all of these school, uh, excuse me, not school, skills. Compassionate, devoted, and emphatic, Pisces can feel what everyone else is feeling. That's when they say, I know who, how you feel, they really mean it, and can easily read the mood of any party or gathering. This renders Pisces as the most attentive of friends, putting the needs of others before their very own. And they make really good friends with those that fall under the signs. <coughs> Excuse me, Cancer, Scorpio, and Taurus. So let me show you the little amigurumi this uh, designer came up with for Pisces. There they are. Now, aren't they cute? Look at that little fluffy hair there. Now, that's made out of mohair. And I gotta tell you, I don't have any mohair, so I'm kind of, you know, trying to figure out what I'm going to do there because I'm not going to buy anything with mohair in it or mohair even if you can buy that. I mean, it's not something I ever think about just to put on the top of these little uh, Pisces dolls. So I am kind of thinking ahead, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And I think I got a plan going. So let me show you how far along I've gotten with these two little, uh, little Pisces. Now, you'll notice Maureen never follows um, color schemes or I can tell you this one's probably going to be going to have a little Maureen touch done to it. But there's my first one and there's my second one. And yes, <laughs> I don't know why this one's so blunt and this one here turned out a little more pointed because they both have the same number of stitches. I think I was just a little more heavy on the stuffing of the cotton than I was on this one here. But, that's what they both look like so far. I am using four weight um, acrylic and um, a number, no, let's see, letter F hook. So, obviously mine are bigger than what she has in her book, but that's okay. Now, I do have the little ruffles made for both of them. Here they be. I'll stitch them on after a while. So really all I have left to do is to make the little, um, you make a little white cap and then you pull the hair uh, through along the bottom and then of course you pull it up and give them their little top knot on the top. Well, I'm still gonna use the white cap, but I think just like I did on my Sophie's doll, I'm going to um, do some little curly cues, um, you know, how you make hair with curls and then just pull it up to the top and put a little ribbon or something around it so that it still gives it the same effect of this uh, little doll here 
you know, this, but um, that's what I'm going to do. So all I have left really is to do the cap and fix the hair and go ahead and stitch on the ruffles and make the little fins for our little Pisces fishies and they'll be good to go. Um, <clears throat> if you're following along with Anvita from um, YOH or uh, Yarn Over Hook Crochet, last night she dropped down the new um, designer for the month on, month on Amigurumi Wars. So I will leave a link to um, her video in my description box so that if you are following along and haven't seen the video yet or would like to see what Amigurumi Wars are all about, uh, you can go check that out on her channel because she hosts it uh, every year and she did start it back in January. So you're not that far behind. I mean, you can still start this much and, and get caught up and uh, she's uh, highlighting new or different um, Amigurumi designers, I'll get it out in a minute, Amigurumi designers each month, and uh, they have shops on Etsy, on um, Ravelry, so that you can go buy their patterns. Um, some of them even have uh, free ones, or they have in the past, so um, anyway, that's all I got going for you right now. I do have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have got a frog in my throat bad. Anyway, um, I do have other amigurumis I'm working on, but those I'll show you on Sunday with my uh, whips and Sunday chat. So, as I said, <clears throat> that's what I'm working on right now. Next week, I'll show you some of the uh, amigurumis I will be working on for um, the amigurumi wars for the month of March. I've already picked out five. I'm good if I can get three done, but you never know. If I get really, really busy, I might get them all five done. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay? All right. So, I love you guys. And remember, be the light out there in the darkness for someone today. Because you never know. Could be your light that they really need to see to bring them out. I love you all. Bye.